So what is vitiligo? Vitiligo is a disease that causes a loss of skin color in blotches. The extent and rate of color loss in vitiligo is unpredictable, but generally the discoloration first occurs on some exposed areas of the skin, such as the hand. Vitiligo also affects accessory structures of the skin, such as hair or nails. Although vitiligo is most noticeable in people of darker skin color, it can occur in people of all skin types and of all sexes. It tends to run in families and is more common in people with autoimmune diseases such as hyperthyroidism. However, vitiligo is not a very common disease. About 1% of the world's population has vitiligo. Let's get into the biology behind this disease. Melanin-producing cells, called melanocytes, are found deep within the epidermis of the skin. In fact, melanocytes are found in the very deepest layer of the epidermis, called the stratum germinativum. Melanocytes sit at the basement membrane, with cellular extensions reaching up around some of the squamous epithelial cells. Production of melanin happens in sacs called melanosomes. Once melanosomes are packed with melanin, melanocytes ship them away. Discoloration occurs when the melanocytes stop doing their job, and they either die or they fail to produce melanin. So what causes vitiligo? As of now, it's unknown, but researchers are still trying to figure this out. Generally, it is thought to be an autoimmune disease, where the immune system may destroy the melanocytes in the skin. It is also possible that one or more genes may make a person more likely to get this disorder. Some researchers think that the melanocytes destroy themselves. Others think that a single event such as a sunburn or emotional distress can cause vitiligo. If your doctor suspects you have vitiligo, he or she will ask about your medical history, examine you, and try to rule out other medical problems such as dermatitis or psoriasis. In addition, your doctor may take a small sample of your affected skin or draw blood for lab tests. You may have to see an eye specialist to check for inflammation in your eye, or see a hearing specialist to undergo a hearing evaluation because people with vitiligo may have increased risk of hearing loss. There is no cure for vitiligo, but there are many medicinal, surgical, and other treatments that minimize the look of discoloration on your skin. Some options are topical corticosteroid creams, skin grafts, laser therapy, or just using makeup to cover up the lighter spots. Because kids with vitiligo can be especially prone to being bullied, it's important for them to have role models that help them embrace their skin and remind them that different is beautiful.